Alright, Drive Time presenter uh, Johnny Goldsmith here, and I am playing Pokemon Go in Mowbray Park. I've only done it on the beach so far, so uh, yeah, we'll see what I can catch in the park today. Got to catch Nido Arena, let's see. Now it's frozen. Mm. So I spin the Pokeball that appears on here and I get items with it, so that's great. Okay, there's a drowsy wind here. Let's see if I can catch him. Come on. Right. Hopefully it doesn't freeze this time, because that was not good. Okay, it's pretty. Nope, didn't catch him. The worst bit is when it's like, please just start spinning. So this concern it doesn't start spinning. This squirt is somewhere around here, there's also a polywag, so I can do with that. I can do is catch one of those. Which is not, nothing rare so far, but you have to collect candies to evolve them, as I say. Magic Carp, extremely annoying. You have to get like 400 candies to evolve it to Gyarados, um, which will be a right pain. They're very easy to find, so. Catch, that's 400 Pokeballs at least, because it's normally worth one candy each, so we'll see. I've also got some eggs to hatch, I forgot about that. Basically, this is why you're encouraged to go outside, because when you got the egg, you've got to walk a certain amount of distance, and in this case, I've got to walk 5k to catch the hatch in both, so you've got to walk 5k outside, unfortunately. You could try and walk around 5k in your house, but, you know, that'd be probably a pain in the ass. So anything that looks like a monument or like a house or something like that is a monument, is normally a poker stop. So like there's a statue at Mowbray Park there next to the bridge, that's a monument, that's a poker stop. Um, play parks, um, shops, anything that looks like different, it's not just a patch of grass. So there's a statue on top of that hill up there, I think I'll have to, that'll be a poker stop as well. Yeah, it's more of a product. It's a very good place to play this. There's plenty of Pokemon around. Um, I do recommend if you are wanting to get this, anyone who's maybe not yet got it, maybe poke, uh, wander around Mowbray Park. There's gyms in which you've got to try and like control with your Pokemon. There isn't any in Mowbray Park, unfortunately. There's just a lot of places to catch Pokemon. But there's no gyms. And in any case, I've tried catching a gym. I wasn't that good. They've got very, very strong Pokemon. It's very, very difficult to. Uh, Get that? If there's anything that looks quite unique, quite likely, it is a poke stop. Um, so there's a lot of little statues and things around here. But just be careful when you're doing, you know, when you're playing Pokemon trying to catch something that it doesn't look like you're filming somebody, because you have to do that most of the time. But you can actually turn the camera off so it's literally just like a green background when you try to catch the Pokemon. It saves battery. This does uh, take a lot of your battery, unfortunately, but it's a lot of fun. Um, like yesterday, I managed to reduce the battery as meant last two days. It lasted about 45 minutes. Another trick as well, if you want to just hatch the egg, um, which you have to obviously walk to hatch, even if you don't fancy catching anything, you can just put it in your pocket, and when the Pokemon appears, it'll vibrate, so then you can get it out and check. And also the screen goes off, so it's, it's battery saving again. Nice long walk through the park as well. You can get some fresh air, you know, people are actually encouraged to go outside, as I say, and that's brilliant. Um, Nintendo done a very, very clever idea there, realising people stay inside too much. So, let's play games. So. And that's not Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we want to be heading down this way. And, uh, see how this goes. See a statue. Quite likely that will be a poke stop. I can imagine it will be. There we go. Havelock, the Havelock statue. I think this may be a poke stop. So I'm going to head over to him now, see what we can get. I encourage every time a Pokemon turns up, catch it because it helps with XP. And if you have a look, your Pokemon is candies. by like catching more of them, so definitely worth it. And a cheeky little thing I done yesterday, I was on the bus and it was going at a slow enough distance to be considered walking, so like I was kind of levelling up there, um, because it was going at a speed where you know, 
people can walk at. So that was like contributing towards my uh, mileage on here, so that was quite clever. So if you go on a bus that's going through lots of busy streets, it'll help with this game. It's not supposed to, but it does. Now I'm getting towards a gym here and it is team instinct, the same as me, so rather than having to fight to get it, I can do if I want to, but I can also leave my Pokemon here and then somebody else can come and try and take it off us, so I've got my Pokemon can help look after this gym for whoever's currently gardening it, so currently on the gym, I'll get to it. We have a, a gold up at level 998, which is very strong. My high school is a Pidgeot at level 58 something, 581 I think it is. Well, sometimes they ask you to go to obscure locations. I do remember that uh, there was one port one I think was in the water in the river way, and I was like, well, I'm not that desperate, <laughs> so I won't bother going for it. But uh, if you want to, you know, I really wouldn't encourage it. But if you want to paddle in the really dirty water, then go for it. But um, I really wouldn't advise it. I think I will leave it there for the day for this episode of Pokemon. Pokemon Go live in Waterway Park. Um, thank you for watching. This has been. Drive time presenter Johnny Goldsmith playing Pokemon Go in Mowbray Park, and uh, I'll see you later on.